My therapist fired me on our first time meeting. It was three years ago, I was young and I didn't really know how therapy was supposed to work. And to be honest, I still kind of don't, but we'll get into that. I didn't find this lady through any type of network or anything. I just looked up therapists online. She made me sign up for an appointment online and this was our first appointment. Yeah, look, I'm sorry. I don't think I'm the right therapist for you. I'm gonna hang up the phone now and I'm not gonna recommend you any other therapists that I do think are a fit for you, nor am I gonna point you in the direction of any resources so you can get the mental health service that you need. Anyway, <laughs> good luck, bitch ass <laughs> She ate that so bad. I love when people know that they're not the right fit for something. So fast forward to literally 10 months ago. At the end of last summer, I had gone to the doctor and- She referred me to this therapy network, which she definitely got paid for that referral. But I guess that's neither here nor there because fast food workers get paid for making the fast food too. Doesn't make the food taste any less good. You know what I'm saying? We ate that. So I have an interview with this lady and I'm not really getting into the details, but I'm kind of giving her just an overview of what I'm going through and the things that I need out of a therapist. We had an appointment scheduled for the week before our actual first meeting and you missed it. So now we're here and this is our first Exactly, and that's the exact tone that he would speak to me in. I'm obviously being dramatic for the sake of the video, but it seemed like he was real pissed about me missing that first appointment, which I was like, you need to shut your bitch ass up because I still had to pay for that appointment. So you still got paid. Hey, bitch, so shut your bitch ass up. The fuck? Anyway, I really didn't like him because the type of therapy was called DBT, which is like, to my understanding, it was focused very much on the now and the present moment and like moving forward. My main thing is that I struggle with depression and the past weighs down on me like no other. There's this maintenance man in my apartment building who literally waves and says hello every single time I see him. Long story short, last week it was starting to get really warm, so I I wore a crop top. I'm walking out of the gate of my apartment and he's walking towards me into the gate of my apartment. So we made eye contact and since I had always known him to say hello every time I see him when I'm walking out of my apartment, I smiled and I was like, hi. And then I, the maintenance man, looked at him, looked down at his crop top. And I kept walking. <laughs> this is someone who I've been seeing and saying hello to since January, since I started my art classes. I would see him every morning and we would say hello. So this was like, what the fuck did I do wrong? Now I painted the picture in a funny way, but it's not funny. This is my life and I am a whole human being who deserves kindness and acknowledgement no matter what I'm wearing. Now I would understand if I was, you know, walking out with like a Speedo or like wearing some fucking like fishnet lingerie fucking stripper outfit. I was literally wearing this crop top. And I look good too, like. Like this is my reality. Like I go through something like this almost every single time that I leave the house. So I'm going to spare explaining the societal implications of that because as y'all know, I hate the woke shit. I live it, bitch. So I'm not trying to sit here and like talk to nobody about it or explain it. I'm just trying to get therapy. <laughs> and I will just tell you that it ruined my day and it sent me down a very long spiral of all of the times things like that have happened to me. Like for instance, in high school, I had very few male friends and none of them were gay. One of them was bisexual, so he doesn't count. The sad part about it is all of the gay people at my high school were actually really mean to me and they like, acted like they didn't like me. So on the last day of school in my senior year, I DM one of them and I was like, hey, I just wanted to message you and say like, I don't know what happened between us, but I've always felt like you didn't like me. And so before I go off to college and start this new phase of my life, I just wanted to let you know, I have no issue with you. And I hope that if I did something to make you upset or something, we can just like talk it out and you know, clear this the air between us. He messages me back and he goes like, I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. So I'm like, 
Okay. Years later, we're hanging out via this girl that we were mutual friends with and he pulls me to the side. He randomly brings this up. I had like forgotten about it. He goes like, hey, I just wanted to let you know I actually was really, really mean to you in high school. I just didn't want anyone to think I was gay if I associated with you or if I was nice to you or something. So you can imagine the spiral that that sent me down at the time, but then just imagine last week when something very similar happened, it just reminded me of that situation. And I can keep going on and on. It's not like those two are the only times that's ever happened to me. And those are just a very few amount of the grand incidences. There are also a lot of small interactions that happen like every time I'm wearing something that reveals the smallest amount of skin people act like I am skinning someone alive in front of them like people will just like be rude to me and stare at me and stuff like that it just is really hard like I don't deserve that I'm like so nice to people and at the very least I'm nice to people's face like I'm never gonna make someone feel like I think of them as less than human to their face so I understand why the interviewer lady and that therapist thought that it would be a good idea for me to do that type of therapy so I could like get out of the past but it seemed more geared for like people with anxiety or like personality disorders to me and I don't have any of that. I, I definitely have anxiety, but my anxiety comes from my depression mostly. And so what I needed was someone to really help me break down a lot of the things that have happened to me in my life. And then using those examples, we could try to figure out a way to move forward, but without the knowledge and the pieces from the past, you're definitely not gonna help me move forward just by telling me to breathe. And that was his main trick. He loved sitting there listening to me pour my heart out for an hour straight and then tell me, oh, ah, ah, ah. let's take a deep breath in and out. Now, how do you feel? And if you guys knew how much I was paying per session, even with insurance, you guys would literally pass out. Like, I don't think I was asking for too much, expecting my therapist to like actually care about the details of what I'm talking about. Like when I'm doing these story times, all I need you guys to understand is the sentiment and just like the pathway that I'm leading you down. I need my therapist to literally dig deep into the details and really try to get the real tea. And he just like wasn't doing that. My impression of him was that he was new. He knew that I was way too much for him to handle and instead of telling me that and losing a client he was like let me just see what I can do with this. And he was like basically just like using me as practice. Like you just never seemed like you knew what to say after anything that I would tell you during our sessions. Oh um and how does that make you feel my point exactly and i understand that it really is up to me to fix my own life and solve my own problems but like damn like aren't you a professional like damn bitch like you don't have nothing to say about nothing that i told you no realizations no nothing like, another strange thing that happened was i actually diagnosed you with depression and anxiety but i didn't tell you and the only way you found out was because when you were talking to your next therapist after me you were talking about how apprehensive you are to label your behaviors as depression or anxiety because you never received an official <laughs> diagnosis. And then she was like, but you have received an official diagnosis. And then you were like, what are you talking about? And then the other therapist told you that I already diagnosed you. And you were like, well, what the fuck? He never told me about that. You never got any resolution about the situation. You have no idea why your fucking therapist wouldn't tell you something like that because that would bring a lot more clarity to your life. But... So should we breathe? But then I, your second therapist after the one that you just did the mini story time about, also would never acknowledge the fact that you have anxiety or depression. No, you wouldn't. And that was also really triggering and weird for me too. And I acknowledge the fact that maybe it was because you didn't want to like potentially give your client like any excuses or passes or a way to just be like, oh, well, I'm depressed. So that's why I'm doing it. You know, like I think you genuinely wanted me to feel like it wasn't a crutch or like something that I was unable to over 
overcome. But at the end of the day, it would have been nice if I gave you some like specialized tips or something about like depression and anxiety that could like relate to your current situation that you spent sessions upon sessions upon hours upon hours upon dollars upon dollars paying me to help you with. Like for instance, when I would say, and this is just an example. Ugh, yeah, I've had these boxes leaning up against the wall for literally months and it's been really hard for me to actually muster up the motivation to unpack them and then build the furniture. I can also easily just like hire a task rabbit to come and do it for me, but I'm really nervous about having a random person in my apartment. It's a really small apartment. It's like the perfect size for me, but like two people and like someone's building this huge piece of furniture. Like, I don't know where I would go. I don't know where I would sit. It would just be really awkward. So I have this really debilitating decision paralysis about the whole thing. And instead of just committing to one thing, I've literally spent months going back and forth about what to do about these boxes. And eventually the task just never gets completed because of these really simple little things that actually like shouldn't be that serious. But uh, yes, and you completely understand that it's not like I was trying to be malicious by doing this. This is just a pathway or a strategy that I was taking and it just didn't work out for you. But I would always try to like bluntly reason you out of the decision paralysis or whatever you were going through by saying like, well, why does that bother you? Or I would try to like get to the root of the logical explanation behind why something is triggering you. But I wouldn't take into account that you literally have like actual mental health problems that logic just doesn't apply to. And it was really strange to me. I would also say like, counseling instead of therapy like i would say like oh something that we talk about a lot in counseling and that was also really weird to you because you're not paying for a counselor you paying for a therapist i don't know what the fuck you talking about counseling bitch like counselor i she, uh, okay i'm losing the plot uh continue basically just explaining to you my therapist my thought process behind like a lot of things that i've been going through and a lot of things that have been happening in my day-to-day -day life and the only thing that you had to say and this she actually did say one time was wow is that what really happens in your mind yes it is that sounds really exhausting my sweet escape is art there's always been this world in my imagination that I escaped to. The concepts don't have to make sense to anyone but me, and my imagination isn't controlled by anyone but me. This world in my mind was the only thing that couldn't be taken away from me. And they tried. If it was tangible, they would have done everything they could to break it in front of my face. <sighs> so I got into red sometime in 2021, I think. I'd have to go back and look at my other sketchbooks. But anyway, I love the color combination of red, white, and black just like how I have it in the page I'm painting now. It's always really been my color in some way. I used to do special effects makeup and I still do from time to time. The bloodier, the better. Being obsessed with Final Destination and this character named Claire from the show Heroes those two got me into the whole bloody thing. Final Destination Death Compilations and Claire Rapid Cellular Regeneration Compilations. Search it on YouTube. You're welcome if you're into that kind of thing. Anyway. So yeah, that is just a brief overview of my therapy experience. I parted ways with Miss Therapist number two. It just wasn't working out like, I don't know, girl. I just feel like it's hard to find a therapist you like. It just like, honestly, by the end of it, I was like, girl, I've been spilling my guts out to you for like months. You're not really helping me with anything. And at this point, I have nothing more to talk about. I would literally find myself waking up just thinking of shit like the morning of 
love to be like, oh my God, I need to speak about this in therapy. Like, damn, like, bitch, I'm not trying to drudge up like the past, like all the time. Like, I don't know, it was just getting a lot. And I'm like, so, I'm actually so much happier after I left. Like, I feel like I'm not constantly like, I feel like living, if we want to talk about living in the past, it was, that was definitely what it was. It's like another human. Like, it's literally like making a friend, except you just like pay them like every single week. Can a real bitch appear out of nowhere and fucking help me please? Comment baddie group if you made it this far in the video. Oh my God, this huge boat is outside of my apartment. Ooh, finally my Prince Eric. Ooh, they look fine too. Well, I have to go hang out with my boat boyfriends. I'll talk to you later. I started working on this video at the same time that I started working on my last video because I wasn't sure which one I was feeling better about. So I did both ideas that I had at the same same time and then that video just I just ended up working on that one more and then this one came and I'm just kind of like uh like this was last week's concept I'm kind of like ready to move on like I try to make a video about what I'm for real feeling about at the time and last week I was just really thinking about therapy because of the whole that. thing oh my god what started this whole video was the maintenance guy he like sent me on this huge spiral and then by the end of it I was like okay well here is my new project that I should work on I should talk about therapy and stuff like that because i was like hmm if i should not have ruined my day like that i should probably see a therapist but also is it bad that it ruined my day like that like i feel like it's not wrong to let things get to you and to like be a human with like emotions and like feelings like i feel like everyone's trying to play this like war like they don't give a fuck like girl mm, i'm not like y'all i'm not a robot like y'all i'm a human being and i have feelings and i'm just like a precious flower like don't ever try to like Pardon me, like, what are you doing? <laughs> Let me know if you like this video though. Um, Thank you guys though for, you know, all the support lately. I'm feeling like that girl, not gonna lie. So thank you. And I hope you, you know, keep hanging out with me week by week. So next week I start my summer class, my drawing class that I was telling you guys about in my I dropped out of school video. And I'm really excited. I have high hopes for this one. I think the professor is this same sub who was pretty cool that I had one time in that design class that I took. This is gonna be cool. Um, So yeah, I'm probably not gonna upload next week because I just wanna like focus on the class for the first week. I'll see you when I see you. I don't know if I'll upload the week after, maybe I I will maybe i won't you'll never know i will upload whenever the fuck i upload follow me on instagram though and also make sure that when you see my community post when you see my community post like it like it bitch i post these memes and it's just like really funny this is this week's community post meme of the day when you see my video on your recommended or in your subscription box click it's when you get that drop down notification on your screen that cami has uploaded click the motherfucking video and watch it how are you a member of the baddie group don't watch the head bad bitches video like um